Hello and welcome to Virtual Hound. This game is a hunting game in VR. And right now we are in, let's call it your hub area. This is your launch. Maybe a bit similar to your main menu if you so want. So you have this little house and in here you can see, oops, all of your trophies that you got. You can customize it, you can add decorations to your house, stuff like this. I, for example, I put a board trophy up here, a pheasant up here. You can change how he looks, the pose and stuff. And here I shot a pretty rare fur type of this deer. So I put it here. So you can decorate all of the house with your hunting trophies, which is pretty nice. And I know a lot of people like this stuff. This is our trophy room. Here we get little trophies if we manage to get different rarities of deer. For example, here we have a bronze and a gold trophy for the fellow deers. Here we have some boars. And here's some red deer. And then you can actually see they have hair. The different animals that you can shoot in the game, you can get trophies. Trophies depend on size, rarity, stuff like this. So yeah, that's for your lobby. Here you have like encyclopedia where you get information about all of the different animals like the deer, where they are active, inactive, what their weight is, stuff like this. So you can actually go, let's say for the boar, come here, so read where can you find the boars, what are they doing. Then you can set, for example, it's inactive at daytime and active early morning, late evening and night. That means if you want to hound the boar, you should plan accordingly. So this is your house. So here you can see the whole map. You have different hideouts where you can start your travel. Then here you see those gray little huts that are um, ex um, outposts that I didn't discover yet, so you can discover them. You have some at the beginning and then you discover more. And you have high stands. Here you can just climb up and then here, hunting stand. Then you can actually search for or wait for deers. Let's go here. So just click it and we go to travel. As you can see here, it shows you make more noise when running. Be careful not to spook the animals. That's important because you can actually crouch and go really low on the field to make as less noise as possible. I will show you later how this works in game because when you run through a bush, you make more noise. If you step on tricks, you make tricks breaking noises, stuff like this. It's really nice. So now we are at the outpost. This is the north cabin. So in here we have a clock. With the clock we can change the time of the day. And this here is our PDA. With this we have a little map and with this we scan animal traits and once we shot a deer or an animal we can gather it or claim it. I usually have it just on my wrist. It's the easiest way to use. So here's the shop. Here you can buy different items like Binoculars, you can look through them. 
or a distance finder, range finder. With this, you can see how far away something is. Really nice and important. Different kind of whistles, a wind indicator, and different callers. You have a backpack where you can store one rifle and you have another rifle on your shoulder. So in the backpack, I have two callers. I'm just a bit janky with grabbing today. Bringing this to your mouth actually uses it. And you can whistle. Take your hand to your mouth. And then you can actually whistle. Really nice. So, here we have a rifle with a scope that you can attach. Then you can look through it. This is my main rifle. This scope actually has a zero wing, which is pretty nice, and a zoom, so I can actually change the zoom as well. You can detach it and attach it again if you want. And I can show you how to reload. Like in most really good shooting games, you grab your ammunition, put it in the chamber and reload. Really nice. As you can see here, you can also buy bows. Then you have different arrows. Works really well. And for the rifles as well. And don't mind me, there are some tutorial informations that I just got because I did it pretty new stuff. <laughs> Last time I started a new load and yeah, I didn't do any tutorial. So here you see that's a vermin rifle. It shows you what it does, a revolver, a shotgun and the British. British is this one, your normal one that you use for any kind of deer and boar. This one is actually really good for boar. You can actually choose between the bird shot, the buck shot, and the high velocity slugs. With this, you get pretty much everything done. <laughs> here as well, the magnum, really good for boards. And here, the vermin is for the rabbits and foxes. So, let's go for a hunt. Maybe we can find something. As you can see, the world is really nicely filled. What you do... There! I already spotted some deer. As you can see, they are right there. So, I use my rifle. Aim. I misplaced my scope a little bit, so... You can actually hold your breath to get a bit more stable and then you shoot. But I will get a bit closer. As you can hear, I make noises. And if I step on the tricks, I make even more noises. So if I crouch, I am slower but make less noise. And let's see if I can Ah, uh, I need to place it a bit different, so they are moving. Look at them, hold the breath, shoot, then you have to reload. I'm pretty sure that I hit, so let's go over there. I was pretty lucky to find them right now. I will show you how you usually track them. So while you're walking around, you can search for footprints or for poop. And then you can, oh, there they are running. Oh, they are pretty close and big and not the ones that I shot. 
I guess. Oh, they were pretty far away. I should have used the Pathfinder. So let's just cross the water. Right now I am running and I make a lot of running noises, as you can hear. So they would hear me from a distance and start running away. So if you don't want to run after them, you can just... Here, see? Those are footprints. You can use your PDA to scan them and it shows. It's a red deer. It's female. What type of weight it is. And then you can start activating the follow and then this trait becomes blue let's use this one see now we have blue footprints that we could actually try to follow but i want to see if i maybe hit the deer i'm not so sure anymore <laughs> it should have been somewhere here if i hit so another good part here we have poop and as you can see there are flies and it's really fresh. I track this and now I see okay they run this way. Then you can just follow the lead and go after them. As you can see there are many prints here that means a lot of deer ran this way. This game is not about shooting or go akimbo into the deers. It's about following them, stalking them and then mounting them down. You could actually also start calling them, so to make them a bit less aware of yourself and then if you land one single good placed shot and then you get your trophy. As you could see, I didn't hit, so I got nothing. And because I'm looking around, I lost track of the footprints. But it should be up here. That's why I'm looking there to see if I can... There! There is one. Up there. So I see my zeroing is okay. Is it moving? No. So, take aim, shoot. And that was a clear hit. It fell down. Now we just go up there and claim our spoils. Just now I shot a female red deer. And usually you go for the male ones because they have antlers and the antlers are what gives trophy points. Here you can see the blue steps, the trail that I marked before. So it was one of the deers that we found earlier. Sadly for you, I ended this deer in one shot. Oh, I didn't. It is still alive. I hit its spine. So I'm going to shoot it again to end its misery. So here you can see the deer that I shot. As you see, it's harvest available. I claim it. And here we can see what it is. A red deer, female, common fur, the weight. Integrity 100%. That means if I use the right kind of ammunition for the animal. For example, if I use a buckshot on a pheasant, there is nothing left of the pheasant, so his integrity is 0%. And as a reward, we get $250 and a trophy score of 0 because there are no antlers. So here you can see my first shot. It came from here through the shoulder plate into the spine. It also shows here. From 152 meter array, flesh, right shoulder plate and the spine. And the next one was the left lung to end it. So we can taxidermize, save or accept. I'm just going to accept. 
So we still have the one that pooped. So let's go after them even more. Because I want to show you how it looks when you hit them, but not fatally kill them in one shoot. But so when you hit them and they survive, they start to run away and they are losing blood. And the game has a heart rate system where the faster the animal runs, the more the heart pumps and the more the heart pumps, the more blood it loses and the faster it dies like in reality. That's something you can't actually trigger or interfere with. That's just how the developers made the deer behave. So as long as they are running and they are bleeding, they will eventually die. But if you just have a flesh wound on the Botox or something, then they usually survive, especially the boar. Boar are really tough. Like in real life, some boars can hit a car, the car is a total wreck and the boar is still fine. So let's see if we can find another kind of animal that we can shoot. So here are some. Let's follow them. I like to use different trails because usually they are in a big group so if you follow one you follow them all. So there they are. They are a bit further away so I have to adjust my zero wing. So So I'm pretty sure that I hit. Let's see on this tree if we can find a blood trail. So. Here we are and we can see some blood. Here we can see it was a hit in the flesh. So it's not a vital hit. It was pretty much a really small puddle. So it will probably not die from it. I still went on and followed it. Here you can see it lost some blood. And now we just have to follow the lead. And that should take us to the deer. After you shoot, they run away because they got spooked by the shot and at some point they start to get normal again, relax a little bit. That's your time to close up to them and end what you started. There they are. Sometimes if you hit a deer and it's really badly injured, it starts to limp and then you can see that it's not in the middle of the herds, but a bit more behind. Like here. This looks like it's already a bit injured. So we now just need to get closer. Maybe we can find a good spot to actually position ourselves. There is also stuff to consider like your shadow, visibility, wind. There is a dynamic weather system, so it can start to rain or even like really thunder storm and that reduces the visibility of you and for you. 
a little nice lake. So there are a lot of really nice structures here. I don't want to show you too much because it just looks nice and you have to experience this for yourself. You have a map here where you can see. We started here and, oh no, <laughs> I hit the travel button. Yet now we are back here. Well, I can show you that you can replenish your ammunition because I have zero ammunition. So we go in here. And here you can buy ammunition. The British ammunition is for free. Every other ammunition is a bit more expensive. Today we only got one deer, yet now it's 8.14. So in the game one hour passed and we got one deer and we hit another one. It may live to become stronger. And that's it. That's the gist of the game, yeah. It's really nice. It is pretty peaceful. I mean, you are the only threat in the game. You walk around, you search for trails, then you find them, then you see if you can find a deer with nice antlers or a male boar with really nice tusks. Or if you're more into pheasants, then you can hound them. You can use your main rifle, you can use a secondary rifle or the bow if you're really good with it. For the bow you can get heavy ammunition, you can tracking ammunition, arrows that track your ray, which is really nice. And overall, I really like it. It's really satisfying, especially if you hound one deer that you hit multiple times and it's still running away and after like half an hour chasing it, you finally get your trophy. That's satisfying. Or hitting a deer in one shot and killing it instantly also is pretty satisfying. I'm not much of a weapon enthusiast or hunter in real life. But here in VR, I can experience being a hunter and it's really nice. I like this game. I like to play this for one or two hours per session just to relax. And I think this game is really nice for this. There's no competition, no battle passes, no nothing. Right now, I heard a boar and it was actually male. So sometimes you can hear the animals like the boars, the deer, the pheasants. That means somewhere here is a boar. Now I could go search for it. It was male. If I can spot the track, then I can hound it, kill it, get the tusks, get my nice little reward. Or if you don't want to kill anything, you can go on an adventure. This is a huge map. You can discover all of the hideouts. It's really nice. I highly recommend this game if you want to experience hunting without hurting any real animals. So yeah. I hope I could give you a short overview of the game. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your time with the game. Have a nice day. Bye!